studied, uh, um, his name eludes me for a second right now, uh, the guy that has the patent on the whole card stuff, mm. um, older fella, uh, I can't believe I don't remember his name, that you can cut that out that I forget his name. <laughs> so I'll just rebite that. <laughs> so who did, um, yeah, who, I think it was Maury Eskandani, and what happened was, in season two or three, people started doing uh, straddles. Yeah. And he got excited because he saw that the pots were, you know, sometimes bigger. But what he didn't know is uh, the size of the pots is not a function of... Usually a bigger stack mm. means you're going to have... Yeah, occasionally you'll have huge pots, but it'll be uh, less time in between. If, if, like if we're sitting down with 500 bucks each playing 510, yeah. well, we're going to get it all in more often than if we're both sitting with 20,000 and we're playing 510. Yeah, that's right. So... Uh, even adding, adding the straddle and making the buying go from 100 to half a million, what you're going to do is get explosive moments, mm. but less... Mi and the idea behind the higher antes and everything, the bigger the buy-in, sorry, uh, and this, the four straddle was that they would have, gi you know, yeah. gigantic pots more often. But they still did get their share of gigantic pots. Well, there's a series um, size, not going to be a million dollars by anything. There's no talk of that, is it? Uh... <laughs> I haven't heard talk of that, but the way that they, they actually had enough interest that they had to say no to three or four people for the half million. So it wouldn't surprise me if within under two years they say, okay, it's just a million dollars and the blinds are 500,000 um, with a $2,000 straddle and a $200. Like that's around the corner. Yeah. With the, I mean, even though like with the UIEGEA, whatever that, the Bill Frist legislation in America, right, even yes. though like the online universe was a swelling bubble and then it kind of shrunk down at mm -hmm. because you know the fish started not returning and not refueling yeah. the casinos have the I've been going to the casinos since 1999 and there has not been one year where except for the World Series of Poker where the number of, but that side action the cash yeah. games mm -hmm. that has been on a steady rise mm -hmm. continuously and you can tell by the if at 5 in the morning there's a uh, in off peak season yeah there's a good game going, like mm -hmm. 50, 100 or something. You know, that's, I mean, really, right now in Vegas, 24 hours a day, off season, there's minimum a yeah. 25, 50 game, which mm -hmm. is amazing. So when I started playing cards, it was mm -hmm. 10, 10 PLH. Now the minimum 24 hour game is 25, 50 uh, NLH, no limit hold'em. So it's really, the casinos have not slowed down. What happens is, you know, even though the uh, post legislation, the TV shows went from like, you know, whatever it was, 10, down to like three, yeah. high stakes poker, world mm -hmm. series of poker, and uh, world poker tour, are the three like, <laughs> there's other little, they sneak in, you know, the, you have the uh, NBC's poker, uh, high stakes, what is it called, um, the heads up thing, you have some other ones that are like notable things, mm -hmm. but they're not like the regular regulars, uh, and that keeps driving people to be interested in poker, and they don't... It's just the aspirations of poker. It's yeah, the aspirations of obviously my aspiration will be to sit down with you. Yep, you can do it right now. At a, <laughs> yeah, right. at a table, at a table, right. and play a proper game of poker, whether, right. it, whether it be cash or tournament. You know what my aspirations are? I play, and this is not. I'm not. This is everyone's got their little, like when I play those thousand dollar World Series of Poker events. Yeah. I, I, I am so impressed by like the likes of guys like Jesus Ferguson and whatever mm -hmm. these guys take it so I mean the guy built zero into 20,000 or whatever yeah, online really, I yeah. can't do that I need I, <laughs> I'm an action junkie right a thousand I'm like and you know the structure is such, such that you kind of have to have something happen in the first two yeah. hours to have and you're kind of and uh, you could play for two days in those things and bust out in the bottom uh, you know if if there's a thousand people and they're paying a hundred people and if you yeah. bust out 85th your thousand turns into 2200 meanwhile there's a cash game going where they're some mugs that are just sticking it all in with, you know, th it could be a 25-50 game, yeah. and I'm just, I know there's one guy who didn't play one, he didn't even play the final event he made, and he's, he's a great player, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying I could do it, because I'm pretty sure I couldn't, because he's a way better player than me, and I'm not going to say his name, because I'm sure for tax reasons he doesn't want to have, <laughs> I don't know if he's doing it, but he won $880,000 by, he arrived June 1, and he played till July 20th, yeah. and he never played a tournament, and he played... He played cash. He probably played, my guess, because he was a vampire mutant guy, like just always playing, he played probably 12 hours, mm -hmm. six days a week, you know. And, uh, and that's what they do over there, or over there to the... In Vegas, I mean, but that, he was the only person I knew that didn't play one turn. I can't help myself. If it, uh, 